what's going on people, it's Guns Ryer from Next Gen Tactics and I'm here to give you an update on the Black Ops situation. It's been a while. I know there's a lot of information out there on game trailers. There was a 20 minute long uh, video that they forced you to watch crap in between. They did it on purpose. Um, you know, they slap all this arbitrary stuff in between knowing that all we really wanted to watch was the Black Ops. Kind of actually annoying. Um, anyway, they showed new maps. Uh, Havana, and then they talked a lot about the single player. They showed sing, uh, single player and everything like that. I'm going to get into that, and I'm also going to discuss, of course, the, the leaked information, which was swirling around on the, what is it, on the 15th or the 16th? October 15th or October 16th. Anyway, lots of that swirling around where there's sniper footage and AK-74U, I think, with some MP5 footage in there as well, domination. Now, Let's get back to the uh, game trailers information first. Now they showed it. Number one, I mean, there's really not much that I can comment on that I haven't said before. If you watch the maps and everything like that, and I've said this before, Treyarch is really, really good at designing maps. They're very, very good at creating sort of more complex maps, giving you a variety of run and gun situations, uh, assault rifle, and great for uh, sniper rifles as well, or snipers with long sight lines. So, I mean, and that's exact, exactly what I saw there. I saw a nice long street, uh, sort of streets and corridors where snipers could set up. Also, you could use an assault rifle, of course, M16 with red dot, for those of you out there that like it. I love it. Anyway, <laughs> um, you could do that. The single player looks sick. I mean, the movement of it, it's no different. I, was, I shouldn't say no different. It's not by any means worse than you know, Modern Warfare 2 or anything we've seen out there. If anything, it just keeps getting better and better. And it's, I would say, at par with Modern Warfare 2 in terms of uh, visuals and stuff like that. I mean, it's not going to go down. It's not going to get worse. And Activision would be like, whoa, dudes, you're not going to release this crap. It's it's worse. We're going to move forward. And that's exactly what it looks like. So it looks definitely... I'm still on board with it. Um, for those of you that haven't seen it, I'll put a link to the game trailer uh, in the actual description as well so you can see it's 20 minutes long Remember there's some crap that's filled in between so as you're watching it You're gonna get this random garbage you can fast forward it and go on to the next actual black ops piece I'm not gonna go too much into detail of that because really there's not much for me to talk about it It still looks kick-ass. It still looks like it's gonna be really good. Now. Let's move on to some more uh Pressing news and this is what's been swirling on and I already did a video if you haven't seen it I'll put a link on this one um, Talking about copyright infringement issues and this is very very applicable uh, in terms of the most recent um, Leaked beta or leaked or I don't know if it's beta or whatever but leaked information the black ops actual multiplayer gameplay where there was sniper AK-74 uh, MP5 I think in a domination match and uh, number one, don't do that. Don't post that stuff unless you want to get it taken down. That being said, I'm not going to harp on that. The fact is it's out there. I did watch it as well, and I saw it. And a lot of people, like, I see comments, and I, I don't want to be uh, too harsh on you guys, but it's very difficult to tell from watching the video. Um, however, people are like, oh, it looks like quick scoping is back, or yay, quick scoping is back. Dudes, quick scoping is not bad. If you look at the actual, even at specific moments, like, uh, and I'm not going to, I don't want you to guys go back and watch the video, so I'm not going to give references, but I could give you second, there's certain, uh, you know, this many seconds, at this many seconds, or one minute, and blah, 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 or whatever it is, you could clearly see it was quick scoping. At no point, at no point did I see any quick scoping that was equivalent to Modern Warfare 2. Not near as fast. As they've said before, that sleight of hand has been taken off um, all sniper rifles. You cannot use it. The actual speed of it, uh, of the sniper rifle, is equivalent to that of, I would say, COD 4 or whatever. And I actually did do a speed test. There were other people out there that did a speed test uh, frame by frame with uh, Black Ops and Modern Warfare 2, and they're like, oh, look at that. It's, uh, it's the exact same or whatever. Uh, I can't remember what they did. They were saying, oh, it was only off by this many milliseconds, so clearly quick scoping is still there. That's a fail. You're actually a fail because you're a dumbass. And this is what I'm going to explain to you. If any of you guys have watched those videos, they're absolute fail. Those people that are doing them are absolute retards. I don't know what they're talking about. They're absolutely stupid. Because right away I was like, okay, well, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do it frame by frame. I'm going to slow it down. 
uh, uh, to 30 frames per second, and I'm going to try and time it from the point in which they're doing nothing to the point where they pull it up and then see the scope. So that duration there. And yes, there was a difference of about, what, what the hell was it? Uh, I can't even remember. It was like point some odd of a second. And they're like, Pfft. It's like nothing, nothing, point something of a second. But if you actually go around and you go back to COD 4 and you do the exact same thing where you measure that difference to the actual quick scopers difference in, um, in Modern Warfare 2, it's the same difference. It's off by like, I think it was like 0 0.03, but this essentially the same thing. It's like 0.15 seconds off. And if any of you have played COD 4, Call of Duty 4, you would know that the difference between pulling that scope up and Modern Warfare 2 pulling the scope up with Sleight of Hand Pro, vast difference, vast difference. There's a huge difference between quick scoping capabilities there. So what's gonna happen is it's the same thing. The quick scoping is reduced. All those shots that you saw were fast, but not near as fast as they were in Modern Warfare 2. It's just, I don't know, maybe you guys have never played COD 4. You just don't, you have no comparison. But you're going to see for yourselves anyway when you, when you play. It's not that you can't quickscope because there were quickscopers in COD 4. But those dudes in COD 4 that were quickscoping, I would say are way more skilled than all these little kids running around with interventions thinking that they're God in Modern Warfare 2. The real quickscopers are going to step up in Black Ops. That's all I'm going to say. It's going to be pretty friggin' plain, pretty obvious. I'm not not going to really care with them in that because if someone's a really good quick scoper in black ops dude you got mad props all right good skill for that because it's not it's not as easy as you think and it's definitely not as easy as modern warfare 2. that being said some people were complaining about the power of the sniper rifle they were watching this and it was like you know it seemed to be really powerful i hear a lot of people harping about how powerful the sniper rifles are oh there's no juggernaut or stopping power it's just going to be a, a kill fest everywhere Number one, and, and they're saying, well, it's, you know, Juggernaut and Stop and Power brought balance, brought balance to the, the game. What? How the, how the F does friggin' Juggernaut and Stopping Power bring balance when the weapons aren't balanced themselves? It throws balance off like crazy. The perfect example, and I've always given this, is you look at World at War with a gun like MP40. It only takes one weapon that's slightly more powerful than any other weapon. You slap on Juggernaut, suddenly the balance is shifted way out of skew. It's absolutely ridiculous. It gets out of control. And then all of a sudden, if you play World at War, all you see is MP40 Juggernauts running around. Why? Because the gun is overpowered and Juggernaut throws it way off kilter. And that's why they've said, you know what? We're going to take a stopping power and Juggernaut out of the equation and we're going to bring balance to the weapons. Bringing balance to the weapons, a sniper rifle should be a one-shot kill, but they slowed it down so you can't go running around quickscoping everyone. Again, balanced. It's balanced because you can't run around like an idiot running gunning. It's balanced because people, if the weapons are, are fairly even kiltered, you know what I mean? Taking rate of fire in consideration, lowering the damage rate so that they're kind of equal at the same same time, you know what I mean? One that shoots slower has more powerful damage. So if you're able to nail that, it's the same as if you had an Uzi with lower damage, but the rate of fire is enough to actually drop you at the same time if you were actually firing at each other. So that's what they're talking about balance. And a sniper rifle should be a one-shot kill. Now people are saying, oh, it's just going to be people running around and, and there's going to be no skill. You know what? It's actually going to force people, and maybe some of you guys don't like this, but it's going to be force people to be a little more cautious. And maybe they're not going to be like that, but you're going to probably, <laughs> I know you're going to hate it, but you're going to probably see a little more camping. And the reason being is because the weapons are equally dangerous, especially with a sniper rifle. Uh, take a look at Medal of Honor. If any of you guys have played Medal of Honor, you know exactly what I'm talking about. That is to the extreme. That is where snipers sit Hidden, hidden. You will not see a sniper anywhere, but you're going to get killed by a sniper a lot. It's You can run and gun, sort of, in Medal of Honor, but predominantly, it's a very cover-to-cover -cover type game movement. And that I'm not saying that's what's going to happen to Black Ops, but it's sort of along those lines, where the weapons, if they're truly balanced, people are going to be a little more cautious because one weapon isn't going to have balance or, or more power over the other. And sniper rifles, people always complain about them getting nerfed. 
Well, as far as I'm concerned, when I actually watch the footage, the sniper rifles have the power they should. It's a one-shot, it's not, you're not running around with the UMP with six million bullets flying out, it's a one-shot kill. That's what a sniper rifle is supposed to do. So people saying, oh, it's ridiculous, look how powerful these sniper rifles are. It's a slow firing rate. I mean, if it's a gun like an M21, yeah, they should lower it down so that it's two, you know, a two-shot kill. But a sniper rifle, if, it, if they truly have nerfed the, uh, the quick scoping capabilities of it, it should be a one-shot kill. You get a 50 cal rate in the chest, you are going down, my son. You are going down. So anyway, I don't see the, the issues with it. I'm glad the Juggernaut and Sock Power Off. I don't think it's going to be, um, you know, out of balance or anything like that. And I'm not even a sniper. Norm I hate quick scopers. Pure quick scopers. Don't get me wrong. I know a lot of you people are like, well, I hate quick scopers. Take skill. I like snipers that actually think and do proper. No one to pull out their secondary. No one to hard scope. No one to no scope, which is, you know, you're kind of like, ah, and that's what, the, what they do. And no one to quick scope. If you've got your sniper rifle up and someone surprised you around the corner, of course you're going to quick scope. But if you see some dude at medium range clear and he's not spotting you at all, you don't quick scope that guy. You pull your goddamn scope up and you take him out. And my issue with the quick scopers is that every shot that they do has to be a quick scope. That's why I always harp on quick scopers. I don't hate them. I hate a certain breed of quick scopers. But it looks like the balance is going to be brought back. Balance. It will be balance. It's it's very very plain to see that the the balance is going to be brought in there. I don't know what people are harping about. Anyway, that's it. That's my opinion. I'm Guns for Hire from Next Gen Tactics. If there's any more information, hopefully we see some sort of zombies information because I was kind of actually pissed off with this game trailers who, when I read it, was allegedly supposed to be talking about co-op. There was no co-op in there. They didn't discuss anything on it. So just like you guys, I was kind of equally pissed that, uh, that they didn't release any of that information. I think we were kind of misled on that. But uh, hopefully, you know, the bottom line is even if they don't show zombies, who really cares? We're going to play it. We're going to love it. It's going to be out in less than a month, so who really cares? If they if they release any more videos, great. If they don't, who cares? Let's just gear up, get ready for some Black Ops. It's going to be great. I'll see you guys out there. Gum Guns for Hire from Next Gen Tactics. Peace, guys.